Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, first off, I just want to apologize um, for all of you out there who had to kind of hang on for a long time to get my um, my videos back. I apologize for that. My computer crashed, and then my hard drive crashed, and then I had to save it for a new one, and long story short, basically I have a new computer now, and it's quite a bit better, uh, so I should be able to finish up this series, hopefully, um, barring any other major issues. So. Uh, kind of picking up from where we were left off last time, um, just so you know, for future reference or whatever, um, I'm having to use a new one that I made up because my old one I lost, um, but it has pretty much all the same, uh, settings. The only things that I've changed, um, and I'm debating putting this out there just so you guys can download it, I'm not really sure, uh, is I changed some of the settings here in Servo, uh, let's look at W, uh, real quick here. 10 and 500. What that does is when I'm moving around, it's a lot quicker that you start moving. Like you're just moving and not moving instead of it being like this really slow speed up process. Um, same for backing up. Okay. Alright, so let's go back into our player mesh uh, model here that we have. So I'm going to make sure I keep track of my time there. Actually, does this tell me? See, I'm using a new program. I haven't used it before, and so I'm wondering if it tells me how long. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It tells me how many seconds, but I need minutes. But that's okay. Alright, so basically, uh, we're going to go through and do a little bit more. I'm going to explain what I did here. Um, I went through and um, changed the bones so that they'll actually move like I want them to. Uh, so for instance, this bone moves everything and that. So, uh, and I took off the bending on the other arm, though I think it looked kind of cool before, but I'm, I'm just taking it off for now. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this so that you don't have to go through and paint it all. One way is to do what's called weight painting. Uh, which you go into pose mode with your bone, uh, your armature, and then go into weight mode uh, with your guy here, the mesh. So to do that, you just go in here to weight paint, and um, so I'm going back to on, you know flat mode. So here you can see the red areas are areas that have absolute control. So this has absolute control over those vertices and nothing else, and that's what the way this is with everything. Uh, each bone that needs to control something has absolute control over it. Excuse me. Um, so what that allows for then is allows us to move each one individually. Now, if you had like a human character that needed to you know move around and bend and stuff, that's a little different. Uh, but I'm not really here to cover rigging and stuff like that and animating per se. Uh, that's you guys can do that on your own. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, now that we're here, what I want to talk about a little bit is some things we can do to make this mesh look better in the game. Uh, if we go to GLSL mode right here you'll see, um, I mean, it doesn't look bad. There's some things we could do to add some definition. Uh, and one of the most valuable of those is the edge split tool, okay? Uh, now, if you're dealing with a really high, uh, high poly mesh, this could be bad. But for now, I think it'll be a good uh, deal. So I'm going to add a new modifier, and we're going to do edge split. Now, all of a sudden, you'll get those weird-looking flat spots and not flat spots. So turn off edge angle, and we'll be back, okay? Now we're going to tell it which points we want to be flat, um, because there's certain aspects of this flat shading that looks kind of nice, kind of robotic, I don't know what you want to call it, but the smooth is nice then too. So whoops. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to go through and just select something. So if you do alt, shift, or uh, alt, right click, you'll select everything in a loop. See how these are all connected there? Same with down here, and if you hold alt, shift, right click, then you can select multiple loops at a time. Um, so go ahead and select the loop right here. And actually, I'm going to go to edge select mode right here. Just make it a little easier. Press Control e And then we're going to do mark sharp. Now look what happened right there. We made that edge sharp without having to flatten out all the other edges, which is really nice. Uh, so mark sharp there as well. And now you'll notice, uh, it's a little hard to see, but it's actually smooth around this corner, but not around the rest. Okay. So there's some uh, certain places that'll be really good for this. Uh, around the eyes here will be a good place uh, to do this. If we go right here, uh, make sharp. There we go. So you can see now how. Whoops, wrong thing. Okay, so mark sharp. You can see how these. It, yeah, it adds some nice definition. Uh, where you lose definition, like for instance, around this kind of like mask-looking piece. Uh, it's good to put these back in just to kind of give some more definition, like I was saying before. Um, so I'm going to come through, and because we're actually going to be seeing them from the back a lot, it's important to get some of these odd little end pieces here. There we go. So now you can see how we're starting to kind of outline 
these the character uh, and his kind of uh, I don't want to say proportions, but his like um, his shape a little better. Whoops! By outlining these like this, mark seam. Whoops! Not mark seam. Mark shop. That's different. There we go. You can see how it starts to kind of separate that mask piece from him a little bit more, um, which gives it a nice a nice look, I think. Um, so I'm just going to go around. Whoa, that's not what I wanted there. Let's get rid of those guys. Um, I'm just going to kind of go around real quick and do a couple of these. There we go. Uh, maybe along the chin here. That'd look nice. Dang it. Mark sharp. Um, and you can choose whether you want to do this one right here to kind of give him this little divot or not. I, I guess I'll leave it there. Um, and if you wanted to, you could even just go right up the middle here, and that might look kind of cool. Give it kind of a double-sided look there. Um, so that's what I would suggest. Um, I'm going to do a couple little things here just to kind of give it a couple more, but I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, you guys can do all this to your heart's desire. Um, I think that looks kind of nice there, actually. That looks kind of cool. You could even hit the tops of all these. Um, boom, 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 boom. Boom. And then do mark sharp. There we go. So that kind of adds some more definition there again. Um, so like I said, you guys can do a ton of this kind of stuff just to make it look kind of cool. I'm not going to do a whole lot just for time's sake. Normally I'd go through and do a lot of just random changing of stuff just to kind of see what looks cool and what doesn't. Also you'll notice now when the sun or when the lamp uh, hits this, it reflects a little differently and kind of gives it a little bit more realistic of a look so it's not like a giant gumball, you know what I mean. Um, another way we can fix that is just to take this uh, specularity off or less. Um, but I think for something like this, it's shiny. I think it's kind of important to have that. Um, you can see I've just added some simple materials. Uh, when you import the OBJ, it gave me two materials already, so I just gave them some, co some colors. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put the eyes as red, though. Not that you'll probably see them very much. All right, so um, we've only got a couple more minutes here, so I just wanted to kind of go and show that. Uh, and the next one, I'm going to talk about just putting some simple animations together and then wiring those up so that our character can uh, animate when we're moving them around. So um, once again, thanks for listening, uh, for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.